So sometimes when people start getting into science, they get lost in the math and they lose track of what they're actually doing. So I want to make this video to remind you what you're actually doing when we're multiplying and dividing all these numbers doing the stoichiometric conversion. And I want to do that with a metaphor. So first let's say you own a Windows PC and you have a file on this PC. Maybe it's homework that you have to do. And you want to run a program on this file that maybe your friend made to solve it. But here's the issue. Your friend doesn't have a PC. Your friend has a Mac. And his program will only work on a Mac. You can't transfer it over. It won't work on a PC. So what do you do? Do you give up? Do you maybe do your homework yourself and learn something? No. What you do is you transfer the file over to a Mac. Then you run your friend's program. And then you take the file and you put it back on your PC so you can turn it in. The three steps you took were you had the file on your PC, you transferred it over to a Mac because the program only runs on Macs. You ran the program to transform your file and then you transferred it back to the PC so you could do your stuff with it. This is what we do when we do stoichiometry. We don't cheat, but we just move things around. We have a certain chemical currently described in grams. We take the same chemical and describe it in terms of moles instead. Because if the chemical is described in terms of moles, we can figure out its relationship to another chemical. But that representation isn't very useful to us, so we shift our representation back to figure out how many grams it is. In the metaphor, you would start with a certain object represented in a certain way, or on a certain operating system, I guess. Change it to another one, because only on this new system can you actually run a process that you need. And then once you have this new object, you want to represent it or store it back in the old system. Now in science, we model every single real-world process as a mathematical operation. Computers can do math. So computers can tell us about the world if we can turn our predictions or represent our processes as math. So the process by which you transfer a description from grams to moles, this is a mathematical operation. The process by which you take a chemical and you figure out its connection to another chemical, we model that with a mathematical operation. And the process by which you figure out from a molar representation of a chemical, how it would be represented in grams, that conversion process is also modeled by a mathematical operation. So let's know what they are. The mathematical model that you use to figure out the representation of a chemical from grams to moles to transfer it that way, or to transfer it back, it's the same one, you just do it in reverse, it's the molar mass. In order to take a gram representation as a chemical and figure out how it would be represented in moles, you divide by the molar mass, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over the molar mass. The way that you go from moles back into grams is you multiply by the molar mass, which is the same as the molar mass over 1. I I'm making this a fraction because it makes it easier for us to actually use these things practically. You should imagine multiplying or dividing by the molar mass that process is sort of like using a flash drive that transfers things out of grams and into moles or out of moles and into grams. The molar mass is like a flash drive that transfers our representation of a chemical from one format to a different format. But that wasn't the only thing we did. We also had this transformation process. And the mathematical model we use to represent this transformation process is called the molar ratio we get it from the chemical equation. In order to go from chemical X and figure out how much chemical Y is associated, we multiply by the molar ratio of Y to X. And to go back to figure out the amount of X that was associated with Y, we multiply by the ratio of X to Y. It's the opposite of the other one. So what we do is we multiply by the molar mass we multiply by the mole ratio, and then we multiply by the molar mass again. Except the inverse molar mass at the beginning, but whatever. 
We have grams of chemical X. We somehow use the molar mass as a flash drive. We use the mole ratio to convert. And then we use the molar mass again to go back into grams. I say use the molar mass, and I don't write it specifically, because you have to figure out, do you multiply or divide? Like, are you using the molar mass to go one way or the other way? The fractions you use for those processes, grams to moles or moles to grams, they're not the same. So I'll help you figure out how to use the molar mass and how to use the mole ratio in other videos. But I hope that helped you understand vaguely what we're doing.